We are dispatched uh, 123 p.m. to 4285 TW King Road, which is Vera Space. Uh, en route, units noticed a large column of black smoke. We went ahead and tapped the second alarm at that time. Units arrived on scene to find heavy involved structure, and there's two total structures involved, heavy, heavily involved on one. The second one was partially involved. Um, we have multiple NEFTA units on scene and surrounding communities, including South Lake Trophy Club, Colleyville Grapevine, West Lake, Euless Bedford, Fort Worth, North Richland Hills, and the fire was under control at 245. Uh, currently, we have evacuated Silver Spur Road, South Fork, and West Bob Jones, and we have two schools sheltering in place. This is just merely precautionary at this time. Uh, we do have a shelter established at our DPS North facility, 100 East Dove Road, if anybody needs to take shelter there while they cannot make it back to their homes. Do you guys have any questions? Yeah, if Uh, we have to evaluate the chemicals inside. We've got the hazardous materials teams on site, ensuring that there is no hazards to safety at the time and the direction that the smoke was being blown and the direction of travel. We wanted to ensure that there was no issues at that time. So we're still working through to ensure that that is uh, safe and, and to reenter. I'll have to get back to the command post. I have no idea at this time. What was actually on fire there at the property? It was two metal buildings with chemicals inside. I do not. I've been at the fire scene. Any injuries? There was no injuries, civilian or to firefighters. What's the situation right now over there? The situation right now is the fire is under control. Our hazardous material teams are working to identify those chemicals to ensure there is no um, harm to the public or possible harm to the public with runoff. Sir? They have not been back to their house at this time. We should be getting fairly close. We're going to start working with the school districts that are affected as soon as I get back to the, to the command post. What are you guys telling parents? You know, are they, what's, you know, the school districts telling parents about those two schools? Our PIOs are communicating uh, actively with the school districts to make sure that they're informed to make decisions based on the best interests of the children. You said the concern is runoff. Is it that more than it is? Yeah, any time that you have any type of chemical involved with water, uh, we have to assess how it mixes with the water and some other factors, so we want to make sure that we mitigate that hazard properly and by the standards. Is there anything near that area that would impact drinking water or anything around that line? Maybe Not that I'm aware of. Okay. There were uh, what I call power poles that were affected. Did they shut off power to the area just as a precaution? They have shut off power to those affected buildings. Any air monitoring going on by your departments or by CCP2 or anything? By the NEFTA hazmat teams, yes. And is that a facility that is known to you guys as far as what's in there and how to respond to it? I'll be totally honest with you, this is my second week, so I'm not, I have not been able to familiarize myself with the district. So, But we do have hazmat teams and uh, individuals that have been with the department a long time that are very aware of the chemicals and things in that facility. What about the uh, cause? Is anybody, like, how did it get called? Still in? under investigation. So you guys didn't hear anybody over the dispatch say why or like, what it happened? Not that I'm aware of. It's under investigation. What time was it toned out? It was toned out at 1.23. A little over an hour before it was under control? Yeah, 2.45 is when it was under control. There was employees there who called it in? I believe so. It's still under investigation, yeah. yeah. Can you say what the business is? The Vera is Space. V. The... So we're at Vera Space right now. We're at Vera Space. Okay. Vera Space right now. What is the name of it? Uh, that is the... Dalden, D A L D E N. Um, yeah, Dalden Corporation. Yeah. Dalden Corporation. Do you mind one more time, Jeremy, telling us the areas that have been evacuated in the schools also that are under um, shelter? So, Silver Spur Drive, South Fork, and West Bob Jones. Do you know the names of the schools? I'll get them the schools that have been involved. Yeah. Silver Spur, you said? Yeah. South Fork and West Bob Jones. Let's see, hang on real quick. Walnut Grove and Claridian. Is that how you say that? Claridon. Claridon. As you mentioned, this was a chemical issue, so was there anything you had to do differently in fighting the fire, or was it just water? 
Uh, no, you, you have to evaluate how the chemical is going to react with water. That's something that we did on our initial arrival. Uh, there's some placards and indications that tell us how to research the type of chemicals in the building. Uh, we did that prior to initiating a fire attack to make sure that our people were safe. And what the tactic was, did you use anything else or just water? Just water. Just water. Yep. Deputy yeah, Chief, can you kind of talk to us a little bit more about why you guys need to ensure that there's no dangerous runoff and how that all impacts people that around the area and that sort of thing? Well, I'd rather get a hazardous material tech here to talk to you about that. I don't want to go into detail because I'm not familiar with all the ins and outs of layman's the mitigations. Terms, no so layman's terms, I mean, it's important that we make sure the safety of the public is paramount as far as any operation that we do, whether it's firefighting or any hazardous mi mitigation. So our hazmat team is evaluating it. Uh, they are taking precautions. They do have um, several hazmat teams on scene as well as a representative from the company that's working to mitigate those things.